Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is gonna be a sunscreen hit and miss video. So I'm gonna review, I have one, two, three, four, five, six different sunscreens that I'm gonna be talking about. Some of them I'm absolutely in love with and have become staples in my routine. And some of them just really do not work for me and I'm gonna explain why. But yeah, we're just gonna talk about sunscreen today. So if you wanna see my recent sunscreen tries, what worked, what didn't, then just keep watching. And yes, I did dye my hair red. This is my real hair. I just honestly feel like I'm wearing a wig still, but I totally love it. So this is this is my hair now, guys. <laughs> this is for real. Okay, so to start things off, I think that we're gonna go like positive first, and then we're gonna end off with the ones that maybe didn't work for me. If you watched my review video of the beauty of Joshan, that's how you guys told me to say it, Joshan, 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 like that. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. But they, this sunscreen is also all over Instagram. It is really, really good. This is probably like my new absolute favorite sunscreen. This is my second tube and I already have a third because it's just so, so good. This is their Relief Sun Rice and Probiotics. The sunscreen just doesn't feel like you're wearing sunscreen. It is a beautiful moisturizer as well. It's really, really nice on the skin. It blends out into absolutely nothing. This is a K-Beauty brand, so they do have different access to sunscreen ingredients than we have here in North America. But I will just show you that it just seamlessly blends into nothing. The texture is so, so light, so nice. It dries right down, layers perfectly um, under makeup, no pilling, no issues, and it's SPF 50 plus. So we like that, that's really good. So this one definitely has become like an absolute staple in my routine and I love it. And for the price point, it is really, really great. So if you haven't tried this out and you want to get summer ready with a new sunscreen then I definitely recommend checking out the um, Relief Sun Rice and Probiotics by Beauty of Joshan. Joshan, I hope I'm saying that right now because you guys told me how to say it. I hope I'm doing it correctly. Next on the docket, we have um, a new skincare brand called Frey. Frey Skincare. Now this is their Protect Me Defense Facial Moisturizer. Um, and it is formulated for skin that sweats with Argania Active Complex. Now, and it has broad spectrum SPF 30. The active ingredients here are avobenzone, homosalate, octosalate, and octocrylene. So this is a chemical sunscreen versus a mineral sunscreen. This one, again, really nice on the skin. It does feel a bit more sunscreeny than the uh, Beauty of Joshin one, but no white cast, blends out really, really easily. It does have a little bit of a thicker texture th than the one that I just showed you, the, the Beauty of Joshin one too, but again, just blends out into like absolutely nothing. It does have a fragrance, so if you don't like fragrance, that definitely wouldn't be for you. It's very mild though, and it, I find it very pleasant. And it is a little bit of a thicker texture, but really, really nice. It's a great just daytime moisturizer as well. I like using it just on its own without a moisturizer underneath because it does have really nice emollient properties in there. They do use a blend um, from three different parts of the plant from like the argan plant. And I think they have actually patented their formula now. And yeah, I just find this one really, really nice, easy to use. And we do like, you know, this is just SPF 30, but that is enough. And especially, you know, if you are not in the sun for extended periods of time, that's just totally enough for everyday use. So this one has been an absolute love. Now these ones, this brand is called Dermatology, but like without any of the, let me try and show you. Can you see that? without any of the vowels in it. And so I have two sunscreens from them. One is the Universal Tinted Moisturizer SPF 46, and then they also have a broad spectrum SPF 45. The, the one that's a tinted moisturizer, it really doesn't have pigment to it, so it would be fine on all skin types, and it doesn't leave a white cast, it doesn't leave any real pigment on the skin, but it, it does, so it's called the Glow Slash Prevent. Oh my gosh, this makes you like disco ball glowy, which can be a good thing, especially if you're doing makeup on top. It's a really nice kind of glowing primer and it's seriously, you guys, is so glowy. So it does have, it looks pigmented, but it, it has, it leaves like absolutely no pigment. It just blends out and then it gives you this luminosity and this shine. You can't, it's not really picking it up, but 
when you put this on you really feel like just I mean I feel just like a total glow ball after which I like because then when I put on makeup everything becomes a bit more modified and a bit more toned down but if you were just wearing it on its own honestly it could be a little bit too reflective it does have those like reflective particles in it and the active ingredients in this one and I've been really drawn to sunscreens like this lately that are a mix of zinc oxide and also a chemical sunscreen so this one is zinc oxide 12% octanoxate 7.5% so it's using both a mineral and a chemical active ingredient in there but yeah this stuff it doesn't leave a white cast I think it would be fine for all skin tones because it's not even leaving any pigment on the skin it's just making you like glow like crazy like really really nice glow which I think on a really like summery day might not go so well for me because I don't want to look like just a greasy sweaty mess but when layered with makeup it is like very much like um like a glowing primer where you have a lot of luminosity and then when you layer on uh, your makeup products then it really tones it down quite a bit so I like that and then they also have one that is just like a regular sunscreen it doesn't have those really glowy luminosity particles in it and same active ingredients the zinc oxide and the octanoxate so this one is just you know a white sunscreen but it doesn't leave any white cast either it totally blends out into just absolute nothing like that blended out super easily but it, the broad spectrum spf 40 does not give you that super glowy effect and it's um i would say comparable in texture actually to the beauty of joshin one very very light on the skin really um yeah just feels really really lightweight i like how it feels no fragrance coming off of those either um a little bit of that zinc oxide smell because it does have zinc oxide but no actual perfume or fragrance in there so i've been really really enjoying these um they got sent to me and yeah i mean right now i think in the summer i would use the broad spectrum spf more but right now i'm totally loving using the universal tinted moisturizer that has that really strong glow because I don't know I like to be glowy especially in the winter um, but I think in the summer I would tend to use yeah the broad spectrum more and less of the tinted one unless I was gonna wear makeup okay now we're gonna move on to my misses the the ones that did not work for me so I'm gonna start off with the the ordinary sun care I honestly haven't heard great reviews from this but I wanted to try it myself and I think if you are someone that had um, a light skin tone and you were like pretty oily this might work for you for me, it's just too, it's just too thick. It's like this paste that just doesn't go away. Like really, it, and it leaves you feeling, it's not as dry as the next one I'm gonna show you, but it just makes you feel like really ashy and really ghostly. Like see what it did to the color of my hand? And it, you can't get rid of that. I mean, you could definitely layer it with makeup and it's very thick. Like I am moving really away from any sunscreens that feel thick. I want them to feel lightweight. I want them to feel skin-like. I want it to feel like basically I didn't put on any sunscreen at all, even though I did. I want them to layer nicely with makeup. And this is just one that just didn't really work for me. It's too thick and it does, you know, take some working into. I mean, now it's gone into my skin, but I am also very fair, so I can have a little bit of white cast on my skin and it's fine. I think for darker skin tones, it would just be a bit of a mess. And then, and this is, you know, a mineral sunscreen. So it is using um, zinc oxide. I don't know if it's using titanium oxide as well, but that is that and it is spf 30 i mean if i was in a pinch in the summer i would totally use this that's fine and just if i'm at the beach like i don't care if i look like you know the white cast look because it's just the beach look whatever um but i think for day to day this is definitely not my favorite and especially when you're laying other products it just feels so so thick and just not the jam and then i've been trying this uh skincare brand called city beauty and i love like honestly I'm obsessed with all of their products I've been using their mascara I've been using their face moisturizer their retinol their body moisturizer and I love 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 everything but this for me just again was a real miss uh, this is their skin perfecting daily veil sunscreen and this is again a mineral sunscreen with titanium dioxide and zinc oxide and this for me just it, it turned into a, a chalky look how thick that is like it just is sitting this turned into a chalky, thick, horrible mess for me that, you know, it's really, really thick. It doesn't feel really nice on the skin. You feel it. It has almost like a, like a, I mean, it smells great. I love the smell of the products, but 
really, really thick. Um, it has like this kind of powdery balm finish that for me is just not super appealing for face products. Again, if I was in a pinch, I'd have no problem using this. We're being really picky here. I mean, whatever sunscreen works for you, works for you. This is just me trying a bunch of them and giving you my thoughts. So yeah, it just made my skin, and I think also if I had oilier skin, I could handle those mineral sunscreens a little bit better and not have issues. Just I have such dry skin that all the moisture that was on my skin or that, you know, I just applied with my skincare just gets soaked up by those mineral powders that are the UVA, UVB protectors, and it makes me feel so dry and also um, things can settle into my lines and it makes my makeup a lot more cakey so I've just been really drawn to more chemical sunscreens lately um, especially because they just feel a lot more skin like and you can get really great ones that don't um, that really don't sting or anything and I mean with all chemical sunscreens yeah if you put it right in your eye it might sting but for me I'm just really careful around my eye area and I make sure I'm just applying it to my lid and under and not like directly in my eye and not too much around that area yeah I guess what I'm saying is <laughs> the mineral ones um, I would use in a pinch and I will definitely use all of these up this summer I mean I'm not a waster of sunscreen by any means just for being super picky here personal preference I'm definitely leaning towards more chemical active sunscreens um, and I do actually really enjoy the combination of a chemical and a mineral sunscreen together like I mean formulated together in one product like the dermatology ones and yeah I mean that's just some those are just the sunscreens I've been trying lately let me know if you have tried any sunscreens lately that you're really enjoying or if there's any other sunscreens that you want me to review um, again, I have pale skin, I've got dry skin, I do not have very oily skin, so I needed sunscreens that are very skin-like, that have really nice uh, kind of moisturizing properties in them that glide on easily, and um, I do wear makeup most days, like if I'm doing something, so I need something that's going to layer well with makeup, not going to pill, not going to make my makeup apply weird or stick or, or do anything funky like that, so that's kind of what I'm looking for in a sunscreen. I like them to just be really lightweight, really easy, and make the process of applying them like not oh, I have to wear sunscreen like I enjoy it because it's a product that I actually enjoy using so that's what I'm looking for in sunscreens lately all right you guys that is it for me today I hope you enjoyed this video let me know what other content you want to see let me know if you enjoyed this um, by giving it a thumbs up or leaving me a comment that always really helps and yeah I will see you guys in my next video and thanks so much for watching